Of course, it's Own Boss Supply Co. again with another overview video. That means this is a new giveaway behind me, and it's time to show you and tell you every single thing that we did about it. But before we can get into the whole detail of everything behind me, you need to do a few things. You need to like this video, you need to subscribe to our channel, throw a comment down below, and get some popcorn because there's a lot to talk about, and I'm gonna run out of breath about 15 times. So I'm about off. Here, ready? setup behind me OB23 I'm gonna go through every single piece behind me and tell you exactly what everything is as you can tell it looks new it looks new and it looks new ready Mitch what do we start with uh, hmm. I'm gonna make them tease I'm gonna start with the trailer sorry this is a 25 foot gooseneck with a 20 foot deck and it is rubberized and we obviously can tell the whole thing has been painted uh, what's the color called shit the whole trailer's been painted in Nardo Gray to match the Nardo Gray skid steer and the Nardo Gray Chevy High Country, okay? Unfortunately, the most boring piece of equipment is a brand new trailer that's custom painted, wheels, rubberized deck, rock lights, the whole nine yards. Come check it out. Up front, you have, this is new for us too. We usually kind of leave the logos black, but we tried something new. Hive is logos on the top, on the box for your, your uh, stores for your tools, your binders, your chains, your whatever you got in here. Super simple. I like showing it. Just oh shit, that launched out. Holy f hey, you, when you win this, don't crush your hand between that. Like I just did that shit kind of hurt. Uh, as you can tell, it's literally a basic box. I mean, it's not water like completely waterproof. You can see the holes in the side, but it's great for storing random wrenches or tools or binders and chain or whatever you got to store. Put it right in here and you can lock it with the key. Now, coming over here to the front, we have our custom rock light plug that plugs in the back of the truck that's also wired through the entire trailer. So at night, you can see, you know, the rock lights on the trailer. So Plug in your truck, hit your switch, boom, the whole thing's lit up and it looks really cool. But also, if you're in a field or you're changing a tire or you're just doing something at night, it's nice to have the extra light. And it actually shines up pretty good in person. The camera it might not pick it up all the way, but it looks pretty good. So then you have the uh, the gray trailer. Obviously, it was black trailer from factory. We painted it in Nardo Gray. We left some black accents to make it look pretty cool. You have the jacks that are black still. We have the binders that are black. We left the black little stripe in the middle of the trailer. It's a steel shank right here, like the frame of the trailer I bring it up. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the decking itself is a rubberized deck, so there is a normal wood planks 2x6 underneath it, and then there is a little quarter inch sheet of rubber on all of the planks on top, as you can tell. Super sweet, we love the rubberized decking. So this is the first two. We've never actually put like custom wheels on there. These are aluminum wheels. They look pretty sweet. They match the truck pretty well, and the skid steer. And um, we put some nice Ultra STR tires on there because the load rating is higher for that. So. We tended to like to beef it up a little bit because we turn tight and you know we like the nice tires okay don't low trail i've been telling this every video man upgrade you guys to factor tires because they're not that good coming down here we have the two-tone black on gray over here to make it look pretty sweet this is back to powder coat right here uh keep a little more durable for you guys but it is going to get ruined when you use the trailer there's the trailer man 25 foot low trail gooseneck with mega ramps you got the step up front you got the mega ramp in the back you can't beat it all right i got a choice right here boys we either talk about the truck can we talk about the machine. Got a quarter on you? Oh sh! Oh sh! Right. Papa John's, discover it. <laughs> now we're flicking the quarter to see if we talk about the truck or the machine first, because I don't know which one's cooler. If I'm honest, I mean that truck's kind of cool, but this is also super sick. So ready? Right, Wait, we didn't say what was what. Hold oh. on. All right, tails. We look at the truck. Head. We look at the machine. Head. Look at the machine. Oh shoot! You guys are gonna kill me. I can't make the rules up. All right, heads. We're looking at the machine, baby. And I'm taking your 25 cents. So here's something a little different. Usually we do gigantic machines because I have a mentality of bigger is better, so does Chris. Usually we, do, we have uh, bigger machines, like just out of fault of it's cooler, I guess, right? So we do 299s, we do 289s, 279s, T870s, uh, John Deere 325, which is still a 11,000 pound machine. We've never done a eight to 10,000 pound machine. Okay, that's the thing. We've always done 10 plus. Really, this is the smallest machine we've ever done. I have reasons behind it, okay? It doesn't sound like a good value at first until I start explaining stuff. But anyways, this is a 2021 Bobcat T66. It's a new body. As you can tell, they updated the, the design of this thing. And as you can tell as well, it has a Nardo Gray and a black theme going on it with a little bit of high-vis accents. Pretty sick, I think. Uh, this color really goes crazy, I'm not going to lie. And uh, basically, it was a white and orange machine. Now it's a gray and yellow machine. And uh, as you can tell, whole thing's been sanded down, painted, the entire thing, tinted windows. Sticker, decaled, black bucket, black tracks. Looks pretty sweet. We did details though on this thing. Okay, there's some details, like little low-key paint and stuff like right there. 
a little on the track action, kind of cool. You paint the weights. We did some stuff with the lights back here. We paint the exhaust tip on the back. Put some nice little Bobcat high vis logos. Pretty sick, huh? And uh, there it is, dude. This thing is super dope. With the interior, the screens, the hydraulics. You can change from ISO to H pattern. Oh, the radio is really cool in this, by the way. It's like a knob on. I'll show you guys in the interior in a minute. Okay, you guys should check us out. This interior is by far, in my experience, the most updated in, in to date skits here interior besides maybe maybe a asv or a jcv this is pretty sick though cat and john deere you gotta catch up this thing's pretty badass now time to show you the interior here we go the bobcat t66 a new and improved interior i love it dude this thing is so updated let's get this thing primed up oh all right so you can see the screen right here let me turn this ac down let me start this thing up boom right up so we're in the bobcat right now this is a 2021 model and it does have 811 hours on it let's start from the bottom down here obviously you have your seat that you can move up and down via air really cool also this is not just an h pattern or iso machine really cool you can change it i never seen that bobcat i've only seen that in uh, in, the, in john deere's that's really cool all your lighting's right here really cool to see uh different modes of lighting auxiliary parking brake Turn on, turn off, unlock your hydraulics. Uh, over here is your Bob Tatch Up, Bob Tatch Down, basically Bobcast version of the Quick Detach and you know, couplers. Um, windshield spray, windshield wiper, elevating, auto elevation. Your fan, reverse fan, I believe that's what that is. Uh, you have storage up here. And then basically this is all the goodies right here. This right here is to control your music. Really cool that they did this actually. So you can go up here, you can connect your phone, pair it up, Listen to your podcast, listen to your whatever you're when you're working. Crank it up, turn it down, push into mute like a car, click the camera button, cameras, pop up, click it again, off. Pretty cool. Um, you, got, you have your home button down here, you go back to home, pops up, answer your phone call, hang up your phone call, you throttle, and the floor throttle as well. And it's everything feels good in here. Foot room is great. I have boots on, obviously, I'm like size 12. You can see how big my feet are. Like I don't, it's not bad. Taguchi is the biggest one. The Taguchi and the Bukoa, Kubota, the biggest cab. This cab's pretty, you know, good size. It's tight. The speakers are also in the headliner. It's really cool. Um, and you have AC units here. AC inlets there. And then one by your feet is really cool. Cup holder, storage, and uh, that's pretty much it, dude. So this thing's a ripper though. It has two speed and it. Fucking flies, man. This thing, this thing really gets down. Pretty good. Rip it around, dude. And there is the interior of a Bobcat T66. Here it is, dude. And we're giving the whole thing away. Freaking crazy. All right. So now we're at the truck phase. I know you guys have been waiting all day for it. You said, "Damn it, I don't hear. I don't really care about the trailer. I do care about the machine. It is a money maker." But I want to see the truck because I know it's the sickest part. And here we are. This behind me is a monstrosity of a vehicle. I can't believe that we've gotten to the point where we're now we're back to back brand new trucks. It's a, it's a 24 High Country Dually, and the thing is absolutely insane. Now, the coolest part is we bought this truck back three and a half months ago, completely stock. It was a black truck with the matte black pieces like the fenders and chrome headlights, chrome everything. And now you can see. It's not that, it is completely grayed out. It is a Nardo gray and knows a tech wrap. And then there's black paint matching. I'm sorry, there's gloss black accents and Nardo gray paint matching everywhere. So it's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of weird little fine details I'm gonna talk about. It's kind of boring, but I want you guys to know we spent a lot of time making this as cool as possible. You ready? Let's go. I'm gonna start at the front and go kind of around. Um, there's a lot to talk about here. So Mitch, if you can pop up a picture of a stock, of a stock one. <laughs> And you can kind of like frame in there and show people like, holy crap, this looks nothing like a stock truck. Uh, a lot of that is to do with the random black accents and the headlights that are paint match as well look way different to me, in my opinion. But top down, right? So the, the roof of the truck, up there, the cab lights, they're factory cab lights. The roof is wrapped. The windshield is tinted 35%. And then it comes down to the hood. So up here, this piece right here is normally a factory rough black plastic. Now what we did was we sanded this down and we painted it to match the Nardo Gray exactly. So it's paint matched little black piece and then the badge right here was chrome before and now it's gloss black and it is a factory badge, you know, we have badge, we sprayed gloss black. Come down the side of it, same thing with the high country, 
the front of the hood right here, uh, this is also paint matched Nardo Gray as well. And then the insert we left, we didn't leave, we also sprayed that gloss black. So a little two-tone action right here looks pretty sweet. Come down to the grill, as you can tell, the outside of the grill is paint matched Nardo Gray. And then the inside of the grill right here is some gloss black action. Same with the badge, right? The badge is painted Nardo with gloss black on the outside. Following down, down here, the lower valance, gloss black action, right? And it breaks up pretty good, I think. And then the fog light bezels are also gloss black. And then you have the little parking sensor, same thing, that are painted. And it just looks beautiful. Now, the tow hooks, you're like, holy shit, there's a hint of yellow. We've never done This is the loudest thing we, I think we've ever done. And we actually powder coated the tow hooks, high vis yellow, to match the suspension on the entire truck. Super cool. But, oh, also, oh my God, I almost forgot about this, holy shit. Headlights, paint match headlights. Actually, it's so far in depth that the little logo inside is paint match to the little Chevy logo, so that's cool. Uh, paint match Chevy logo, clear reflector, uh, not a great inner, and then everything else is black on the outside. Now coming to the side of the truck, we have a four inch Cognito lift kit with Fox 2.0 shocks, and it's sitting on some 37 inch ridge grapplers with some 24 inch JTX Forge X, you know, collaborated on Boss Supply Co wheels. Pretty sick. And as you can tell, the suspension is actually powder coated high vis to, uh, that's our accent color. I think it looks pretty cool. We've never really done a, a bright accent color, and that, I think this is sick. Come on. Uh, come down to the mirrors. The mirrors in these things are, I love Chevy mirrors. Chevy mirrors are like some of my favorites in the market. They're huge. They are automatic. Obviously, you click a button, they extend, they go out, they go in. Uh, the 360 camera underneath it. But as you can tell, the mirrors are paint match as well. And then we have some black tinted lenses right here with the black up top to give it some breakup. It looks pretty good. Uh, coming down below, this trim piece right here on a factory truck is always chrome or that gritty little plastic. In this case, it was chrome. We paint matched the entire thing. And actually, I was going to have them throw the 30 by 100 in black, but we had to leave it alone because it looked pretty cool. I ain't going to lie to you. That's probably my favorite little accent piece without it being an accent piece. You know what, what I'm saying? The whole, like, this it, thing? it all just even, flows so well. Yeah. And I was like, you know what, man? The stickers on here, this is going to look good. And you know what? I'm glad we didn't do that. You think this was factory? Psych. And in fact, we would pay match the whole door handles too, which is pain in the ass. Even the little button right here, pay match. Well, everyone wraps these for some reason. Everyone just wraps door handles. And we decided to actually tear them apart and paint them. And then, even the trim down here too, same thing. This you would think would be black, but it's not. So even this over here, look. Details, baby. Oh, the details. Yeah. Pay match, pay match, pay match. More pay matching. Your step right here, same thing. A lot of work. Three pieces. One, two, three. You have your nice little sounding steel body, of course. GMC. Yep, very nice. Paint matched fenders. These aren't, these are typically the rough plastic, but these are painted. Cool thing about the GMs versus GMC too, you don't have the light in here, the little side marker thing. It's just like a normal truck, so it's cool. Um, and then coming in the rear, we have all the powder coated suspension. The brackets for the bags in the back are powder coated, so that's really cool. Along with the traction bar, it's really cool. And obviously we left the stock exhaust, the DPF, everything engine wise is stock. And we have 24s in the back. The Airlift 7500 XL bag system that's wireless with the remote, pretty cool, sitting in the back. And then over here, Mitch, the rear of the truck, same thing. Uh, nice and simple, high country black badge. Everything's been wrapped and painted. Now you just saw the whole exterior. It's a lot to take in. Then you cool off. Let's go inside the brand new 24. Show you the interior. This is the nicest one I've ever seen yet. Now you don't really like Chevys, but this is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's go check it out. All right, so in the 23, oh my God, 24 high country. Open the center for a little bit of life in here. I wanna talk about how crazy this interior is. So let me move the steering wheel a little bit so you guys see me a little better. This interior is by far, oh man, it's it's up there, dude. I am very particular with certain things, personally, and I pick apart things because these trucks are very expensive. This truck is well over $100,000. Doesn't matter. The interior of this thing is a factory OEM interior. We didn't touch a single thing. So I'm basing this off of what I'm saying. It's a $100,000 vehicle, plus. To me, it's luxury. To me, it's a very expensive vehicle. This thing can do a lot of work. It's capable. It has a big diesel 6.6 .6 liter Duramax that has like 500 horsepower and 1,000 pounds of torque. It has an Allison transmission. And it has all of GM's finest things to offer. Okay, most of that is technology. That's GM's really good at. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down in a few things. Okay, I'm gonna show you the interior in a second here. Here's how it works for me. I'm gonna go like this. Ford has really good seats. Ford has good uh, looking trucks. Uh, I think their infotainment system is one of the best ones. It's very fast. It's, it's very easy to use, and they have physical buttons. Ford's good for that. Um, Ford's not good at the quality of the vehicle though. I think the aluminum makes it feel like crap. But well, I'm talking interior. Say so Ford feels a little cheap. Everything you touch kind of bends in a little bit. Ram, Ram has, in my opinion, the best touches. So the best stitching, the best leather. 
Um, the seats are really comfortable too. Uh, Ford still beats out with the massaging seats. They have, they're, they're the shit with that. Ram also has a good fit and finish in my opinion. I've experienced that. There's no weird rattles. And it just feels like the old Chevys until this year, 2019 to 2023 body, I believe. Those interiors suck and they're outdated, man. The, uh, GM, if, if I'm honest, GM's been very outdated for a long time. They've been... Their screens have sucked for the past like five years. Um, the camera systems are okay, but they were just pretty outdated. And now they finally updated it. Check it out. So first things first, what I'm noticing is the steering wheel is the exact same steering wheel as a 2019 model truck. That's not very proud. Actually, 2015. The steering wheel's been around forever. The same exact thing. Okay, it's not much different. Um, there's adaptive, adaptive cruise control on the steering wheel, and you can go through your settings through the steering wheel, but. It's the same wheel. Uh, Start with the steering wheel. Typical GM. This has been around forever. Same thing. Not updated at all. Um, you come down to the dash right here. Dash is updated. Super cool. You have all your settings to change and play with everything. You can change your display layout now so you can drop it down and completely change the way it looks. So you have a clean look here. We got a classic look we can play with. Boom. There's classic for you. Progressive. Boom. You can go digital, right? There's a lot of different options here. And this is just a little bit of the truck. GM is also awesome with the head-up display they have. There's basic information here. It's nothing too crazy. There's that for the dash. Full digital dash, pretty cool. It looks beautiful. The resolution's awesome. What's also awesome is the screen that's next to it. So this screen is very, very good. I'm a big fan of it. There is camera buttons in here, and the cameras do go absolutely insane. So your cameras here are pretty crispy. GM's really cool with the wheel camera stuff. They're the only ones that really do that. So you can see, turn the wheel. And it's showing you your wheel. Pretty dope. That's both driver's side and passenger side. Um, top down view, 360 style. Pretty sweet front and rear. Front front camera's awesome. Rear camera right there. Pretty sweet. The screen's crazy. You still have all your buttons up here. Exhaust brake, lane keep assist, parking brake. You can drop the tailgate right here. Hazards and traction control. This truck is also brand new with 326... 352 miles on it. You have your HUD over here, your HUD's up display up front, if you can see it. You probably can't see that, can you? Uh, yeah, but you can adjust it up here with your brightness and everything. You have a door over here, door panel, um, all the buttons for the door panel. And what I like about GM is the fit and finish and everything feel like the door handles. See, I'm weird about certain things, but for the door handle, for me, it doesn't feel like the door handle's gonna fall off. I feel like I can't move this. Or if I'm paying 100 grand, I want everything to touch to feel solid and not feel like it's gonna break off when I just rip it open like that. And it feels like an Escalade. It's, what it, it's exactly what it feels like, an Escalade. You have nice storage in here, boom, pops up. You can see in there, storage. You have the little tag notifying the truck is brand new. High Country badge right here. This is a fully loaded High Country interior. You can see the nice brown stitching with inside the brown seats. And uh, it's pretty pretty, man. You can't beat this really. This is about as nice as it gets in a GM. Come down here, you have a nice little center console with uh, some USB-Cs and some plugs in there. And then, and you have nice little storage on the side here. You have door pockets over here. My water bottle is, is doesn't fit in here. Oh, also, the rock light switches over here. Boom, boom. But what's really cool about this truck is it has Bose audio. And I can't lie to you, GM has some of the best audio in the game. Ford sucks with the audio. That's too quiet. GM will blow your ears out if you let it to. Here's the rear view uh, camera. It is digital, also normal the switch boom here's your sunroof pretty sweet nice all your buttons up top but man just the way this interior looks just it looks nice man it really does don't mind the dirty we've been in and out of this thing all day but brand new high country there's the seats that look like seats are really firm as you know gm is a very firm seat black pan on the dash dash swoops around it's, just, it's a really nice interior guys I, I can't lie to you all right so i do appreciate you guys watching this video this is our 23rd giveaway we are really giving away that truck that trailer, that machine, we've done the past, we do it every six weeks, this is complete insanity, okay? Let's remind you what's happening here, let's just get the focus back. 25 foot gooseneck, T66 Bobcat, 2024 High Country Dually, and then $30,000 in, sorry I'm robbing Mitch, in cash, okay? That go along with the whole step when someone wins it by simply buying a shirt like this. And guess what? If you don't want to support us, and you don't want to buy a shirt, you can also enter for free. Go to our website, omossofico.com, read the official rules, enter for free, or pick us some merch and help us do bigger and better giveaways every single time by supporting us. We are very transparent. We want to be the most transparent company out here and telling you guys exactly what's going on. We are the guys that want to make you your own boss. Remember that. Pick us some merch, support us, get on for this insane giveaway. 
because uh, in, by the time, maybe by the time you're seeing this, it's done. I don't know. Who knows? Check it out. Good luck. Good luck.